Okay. I have hit go live. I don't know if it is live yet. I'm gonna give it a moment. During that moment, I will ping the Discord server. But if you guys can hear me, I will say good morning to everyone. Had a stream on. Gonna try to do two gyms at once. Like in one stream. Rather than, you know, once. You you guys know what you guys know what I mean. Anyways, let's say good morning to everyone. Uh, and I'll, we'll get into it. Show the current team. Hello, Ham. Hello, Gwenon. Hello, Shadow. And Lee and Michelle. Hi, you are in a mo. You are in a movie. Like you're watching a movie right now. This. this, this I. I don't want to disturb your movie. Hello Sabri, hello Kaden, hello Mr. Wulu. Hello Anister. And Shiny Bugs and Hornet and Wendy. Hello hello gamers. Today we got to do the last two gyms. I feel like I feel like we already have all the Pokemon and I should not be on the team, but I was oh yeah, I was on the team for balancing purposes. Um but we're gonna we're gonna fight Pierce today and then right hand and it might be a bit of a shorter stream because I have a, a project I'm working on once code gets done running I got to go but I have at least an hour until then so let's let's do the gyms how's how's everyone doing this is your third stream in a row nice are you guys enjoying the the streams around this time of day because we're probably gonna be done with this in like uh Two or three more weeks? Probably three weeks. The, the wind and segment is very long. Hello, George. Oh no, you're actually in a movie. That's that's really cool. I'm tempted to ask what the movie is, but I'm probably gonna forget. <laughs> what did I have for breakfast? Uh, you know. It's time to do the gym battle against peers. I'm gonna hit start recording. <laughs> what does she lead with? She leads with Blissey. Like, Blissey's in the lead. And, uh... Yeah, our team's all healed up. Now we got, we got go fight <laughs> We got go fight peers. And so, uh... <laughs> What did I, what did I, what, what did I have for, I want, <laughs> uh, listen, I, 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 I did eat, it was, it was just not a, a healthy and balanced breakfast, okay, it was, it was a breakfast, it was like two wheat, wheat biscuits, wheat cookies, I don't know what you guys call them, and then, and then I had a little bit of, uh, cashews. I, I had cookies and cashews. That's it. That was, that was breakfast. It's not really, not really good breakfast, but. I always have this problem where it's like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, what do I eat? I don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Usually I go for like yogurt and something, but. Not to, not today. Yeah, I gotta make some coffee. I was deliberating on coffee because I only got like five and a half hours of sleep. But I am not gonna have coffee, so I can just nap in the afternoon. Because if I have coffee, the nap is just completely gone. And I'd rather, I'd rather be able to nap than be awake. Next week is probably gonna be the last time you're able to watch one of these streams because of school. Aww. Yeah, I'm realizing this is not the best time for, like, people that are in the U.S. <laughs> Maybe if you're in EST, this is alright, but this is more this is more of a Europe and, uh, like, Asia? Oceania? I assume it's an okay time for people in Australia. I don't know. You just wake up. Well, good morning. I have been awake for a while. 
But now let's see what I can do against Pierce. So this thing, he, he's just gonna do the thing where he's gonna pocket sand me. Hello Katrina. I'm just gonna have to... It's 10.34 in Australia. Okay, yeah, so it is it is good Australia time. You know what, if, you, if you're willing to share what movie you're in, I'll write it down. No, I'll check it out. I, I will I will take note. Yeah, 1034, not too bad. Okay, well there goes our first guy. Uh yeah, this song slaps. The problem is what am I gonna slap here? Oh, Togi. Of, of course. Uh, no, Togekiss is too strong. But like Togekiss can carry. Like middle of the day in the UK. Nice evening in Bangladesh. I think I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam is 4x damage on this thing, right? Should be. Could be. Oh, Karma, I appreciate it. It's a dark type fight. <laughs> Yo, Romania? That's so that's so close to home. That's so close to home. It's just just a little bit north. All right, now this is the guy that has like zero weakness, but I think I think it might be weak to dazzling gleam. <laughs> right, it was like weak four x weakness to bug, and that's it. I definitely took a lot of damage from dazzling gleam. Hello, Lily. I'm good. How you doing? Will I ever play, play Roblox? Probably not. I've seen a couple of other people play it, and I'm like, this, this isn't for me. <laughs> it's not for me. I, I'll just play the, the, I'll just play normal games. Not, not to say that Roblox is a normal game, but what I've seen is from Roblox is like people make like bootleg versions of games, but in Roblox. At least that's my understanding of how it works. I'm like, it's, it's, it's not for me. And that's okay. When the car quest contest. April Fools. April 1st. I think my, my problem with car quest content is I don't know what to make. <laughs> but how do I how do I make it? What is car quest? Oh see this is why I have to make the car quest content then I suppose. People don't know what car quest is, and that saddens me a little bit. Why did I start YouTube? Uh, I had really bad luck looking for like a corporate type job. Like, I kept I kept running into positions that are very like exploitative, like extremely exploitative. Like it was a part time job, but they expected me to be there like 14 hours a day, which is not a part time job. That is just your whole day. Um, and a lot of other Places I applied to were very. I, I think it's gotten a lot better now, but you know, back when I started, I was like, you apply for one position, and then you go, you show up to the interview, and it was an entirely different position, with entirely di like. It's like you apply for like a Python programmer, because you want to do like backend programming or something, and then you show up to the thing, and. And then they're like, yeah, so anyways, um, you're going to be physically engineering, uh, what's this, the flying things, the, are they called droids? You guys know what I'm talking about, like the flying things that do cameras with? I know Casey Neistat used it a lot for like air shots. They're not droids, drones, there you go, yeah, it's like, oh, you apply for a coding job and then they're like, no, you're actually going to be building drones, physically, and I'm like, what? This is not... <laughs> Hello? Like, it's just wasting my time on all these applications. I was like, well, I enjoy playing video games. I see people can kind of monetize playing and talking about video games. So I thought, why not try it? And here I am, five years later. You're still on vacation, slightly busy, so you gotta be on the run. Thank you for dropping by. Hello, average scout. 
14 hours or so? It's not really part-time. I know, right? Yeah, maybe for the whole week. Yes, it's part-time. See, this is why I didn't want to use Togekiss. Th this thing just destroys. It kind of makes me want to try a speedrun of this game using Togekiss. Oh no. Oh, there's the idea. There's the idea. It might happen. Like, Loki curious if Togekiss can just speedrun the game. Faster than all the other speedruns I've seen. Because it can also steamroll through Leon's team. So I could just do, like, the, the starter, because I know the starter is also really good. I, am I supposed to make a droid or a drone? R2-D2 beeps in the air. <laughs> What about Gordy? What, what do you mean? What about Gordy? Now we already beat Gordy. That was that was last stream. All right. Now we're gonna. Oh, what about Gordy for? Uh, we know it can learn. What's it called? Aura Sphere, which 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 does a lot against Gordy's team. Like Gordy can't really do much against Aura Sphere. Yeah, P Pierce is just a trouble child in the Galar Gym system, but in a good way. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to look into it and see. I have to look into it and see if Togekiss might be. I'm gonna take a note of this real quick. One moment, gamers. Can I do a speedrun with Togekiss and Pokemon Sword? Would it be faster? What are the other Pokemon used for these speedruns? Because I remember I did one with Suicune. Like a year or two ago. I want to say it was a year ago. I forget. I I see the potatoes. I see them. Don't don't spam potatoes in chat, please. People might not want to eat or think about spuds at the moment. You know. You need. You still need to get the togekiss though. But that, that's the thing. In this run, we got the togekiss on first try. No, I'm not googling it. I just I just typed it into Google it later. So I'll I'll go on speedrun.com and then see what the if the speedruns are. Cause I think Poplio is the main one that they've used. Like you can trade in a starter, so I could just trade in. I don't know. That feels wrong. Trade in the Togekiss. That feels wrong. Why would you, would you just mod it? No, no, Nintendo does not like it when you mod things. <laughs> I'm not modding anything. Oh, hello, Hamza. Dude, the Nintendo ninjas are like, do not touch our stuff. Best looker in the Togepi line? Probably Togepi. <laughs> Nintendo ninjas go, no. <laughs> well, thank you. That, that is a whole mess that I personally do not want to deal with. One thing I like about the Pierce and right hand gyms is how close they are to each other. Like, we don't really have to fight this guy, I can just... Technically he's in the way, so like, we do have to fight him, but like, you can just fly over and... <laughs> And skip it entirely. You're playing Pokemon, you didn't know how to get out of the tunnel? No! Oh, I like how the game just auto healed us. That's also very nice. Alright, you again, you again the potato timeout. No, no more potato. Man, you can just walk in from a different direction.
I guess you are right. They are kind of all close, but like these are just back to back. Like literally, like you have these two conversations and that's it. You have been a ninja for Nintendo this whole time, and I, did I pass the test? How will I pass the test? Good morning, Crimson. Hopefully, I won't get the ninja treatment. Yes, I passed. Wonderful. You play Pokemon Silver Gold. Do you forget which one? And you got stuck in the first game. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, th those games were a bit more, a bit more puzzly. Coffee has been brewed. Wonderful. I'm tempted to, but I'm probably gonna have afternoon coffee. Oh my! My parents were in Bulgaria recently, and they got um. They stopped, they stopped selling it in the U.S. It was, it was like a cured competitor, but like the, the Nestle one? I want to say it's like Dolce Gusto or something like that. It's basically like a Keurig machine for those in the U.S. Or I don't... Do you guys have Keurig machines in like Australia and wherever else in the world you guys are? Because they're, they're very big like here in the U.S. Um, it's like you get like a little little pod with like the, the coffee beans already like ground and stuff and you just pour in water you push a button heats up the water pours it through the little pod and then bam you got you got some coffee for over a decade if you're not mistaken yeah i don't know i don't i don't really know how popular they are like outside of outside of the u.s I know here it's like if, if you go like to, to like a car dealership to get like your oil changed or like your tires changed, they will usually have like a like like a cured coffee machine and stuff. Not a sponsor. <laughs> it's just just something I, I've noticed. Wish me the best of luck for right hand. See the the one tough thing about right hand though is that we do have to fight all of these guys. In Brazil, it makes coffee. It's popular. Yeah, that's fair. That that is fair. See, my my mom is a big uh, coffee consumer, so we have like almost every method of making coffee in the house <laughs> available. And I, I I'm not kidding when I say almost every, like we we have the little pour over filters, we have a French press, we have like. Three separate coffee machines, all like from the different brands. But anyways, they, they got some of the pods for the for the European Nestle ones, and I've been wanting to have one of those. But I keep I don't know where she put the the coffee machine for those pods, <laughs> so I haven't been able to make one myself. But I I do want to have one soon. Hello, half pint. You played Pokemon Emerald and once well Steven, who's Steven? I, I wanna make a Steven video in, in Sword and Shield. Because I like I like Steven as a champion. I think he's one of my favorite champions. I always forget he exists when people ask me who's my favorite champion. Because it's just Cynthia PTSD, like my mind just instantly goes Cynthia. I hear champion, my brain just goes Cynthia. But uh I, I do I do like Steven as a character. He's cool. Why does the trainer not have full dragon types? That is a good question. Um, I think they were just trying to showcase weather effects. Um, and none of the dragons have a weather effect causing ability. So like they can't really show you what Sunny Day does if they didn't have something with drought. Now, they could have sent out a dragon that knows Sunny Day, but there's a big chance that someone comes in here with like a level 60 Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, I have I have bad news. You know, I'm, I am I cannot switch out. I was just going to say I'm going to switch out Darumaka, but... So, they're required to basically put in a Pokemon whose ability will cause the weather. That way you do at least see that the weather exists. 
for Darumaka. He he's just he's just trying to have a good time, but he's not allowed. Kind of hard since there's no Mega Evolution, but there is um. Ooh, I'm I'm starting to forget Pokemon's names now that there's a thousand of them. I'm starting to forget them. Ah, uh, what was the name? M Metagross. Yeah, there's there's Metagross. All right, M Michelle, this is the second time you've spammed. I'm I'm putting you in timeout again, uh, and, and once you're untimed out, if you continue spamming, you will you will be banned. Um, it should be the weather gym. Absolutely, it is very much more of a weather gym. I I agree. Dragons abuse the weather. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think I want to get rid of the nine tails first, and th and then we'll worry about the other. You know, I don't I don't think his Metagross is a shiny in the normal game. <laughs> like in the original Emerald, uh, he's not a champion in Emerald. He, he, he just quits. He's like, I want to study rocks. No time for champion. <laughs> I can, I would just use a normal Metagross. We don't need, to, we'll, we'll just Dynamax. Did he, I think he has a shiny in, um, in Masters. Hello Arceus, how you doing? Carbon rollers, oh no, oh no, this is not Splatoon. I will probably stream Splatoon a couple of times once we're done with uh, the honey streams. As a shiny one in the anime, uh, that makes sense. You want to see just the team with no type just focused on weather and the ace of the is a leader with cast form? See, but that would require them to make cast form a good Pokemon. <laughs> Not, not to throw shade on cast form. I don't think cast form is necessarily a bad Pokemon. I actually like cast form. I absolutely like cast form as an idea. It's just I remember not having the best of stats. So you have a friend at school and he competes every year Pokemon game with only six Pikachus. Does he win? I mean, it's a very versatile Pokemon. Good morning, j -Ro. Did I say that right? Is it j -Ro? Or am I mispronouncing it? Yeah, I kind of wish they'd give us an item similar to the Eviolite. But for Pokemon that just never evolve. You guys know what I mean? Like EVLI boosts the defense and special defense of Pokemon that aren't the final evolution. But what if we had something that boosts stats of a Pokemon that just doesn't evolve? It wouldn't work because they're making everything evolve nowadays, but... Staff Castform has 70 stat. Yeah, it's very mid. Absolutely. It could work in doubles. I could see it working in doubles. Or like with proper setup, like if they throw like sticky webs at you and, or something. Something, something legendaries. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, don't say legendaries. Opinion on opinions. Opinions are just opinions, man. That's all there is to it. Should you do a shiny only ground? I, I don't know if you should do a shiny only anything. <laughs> it's very time consuming. It's gotten better in the more recent games. Oh, all oh, that that poor Hakmo. Oh, all that that he. Oh, all oh, that poor Obama Snow. Oh, I got four X effectives on him. Oh no. Yeah, there goes Obama Snow. I think there should be armor gimmicks. Not necessarily armor gimmicks. Uh, maybe something to boost the Pokemon's speed, or to boost a specific stat, like attack, or defense, or so something, so that they could be competitive. There are kind of two ways to say it. Okay. As long as I'm getting one of the two, that's good enough for me. Opinions on, on, on Pochigeist. 
I think we need to have more reveal trailers that are like that. That actually like give give a lore to the Pokemon. I am very curious what its stats are though, because I haven't seen what its stats are. <laughs> because in the trailer they made it look very strong. So I just assume it's gonna have high speed and high like special attack or something like that. But design wise, I like I like the idea behind it. Alright, we're gonna go heal and then we'll fight right hand. If there's an item to boost the defensive Pokemon that don't evolve or have no evolutions, that's gonna make certain legend. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Because legendaries don't evolve. Dang it. <laughs> that's why they haven't done it. Dang it. Pokemon. You've played yourselves. No. Is this why they gave Dunsparce an evolution? Because they're like, how do we make this thing stronger? Instead of giving some sort of gimmick for things that don't evolve, we have to evolve it, because legendaries don't evolve. No! 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 I, 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 you know, you, you make a good point and I don't like it. I'm gonna, I'm put Gallade in the lead. First part of the DLC is coming in September? I... Yeah, I want to say the 15th? It's soon. Um... The 13th. And then... Detective Pikachu comes out October 6th. So we'll have a lot of Pokemon to do. I've never played the first Detective Pikachu game, so I hope I don't need to have played it to enjoy the second one. But we will see. Can we swear in your stream chat? Nah, let's let's not. Let's let's not. I got YouTube's like now's a good time to put an ad. <laughs> Can we swear? No, it's time for today's ad of the stream. <laughs> ah, no, no, you're good. You're good. I just assume there's peoples of all ages. Let's avoid it. Just so that we don't we don't teach anyone something that they don't already know. It's the internet. If they're here, they've probably already seen everything that they shouldn't have seen, but Parents don't understand what a DLC is. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like back in the day, like five years ago, back in the day, you used to just buy a thing and it, that was it. That was the thing. Now it's like you buy a thing and then you got to buy extra things for the thing so that you get the full thing, but you don't actually buy the full thing. You only get parts of it. It's weird. Well, you guys would likely have the same stats as the original Pokemon it's converging on, so it's gonna be pretty good. Oh, well, that's good to know. They could make it only work with Pokemon that are below a certain base stat total. I, yeah, I, I like, I like the way you think. That coffee is giving you good ideas. You're back and you've changed your name. W welcome back. I don't remember what your name was beforehand because <laughs> I don't know. panic. Okay. Um. Usually I go for the Flygon here, but we're just gonna go after the Gigalith. Because the Flygon has the, that annoying breaking swipe, just just like wrecks our- oh, you're Nicholas. The Poti guy. Oh, cool. Um... Yeah, oh, this is... I think if we crit, it ignores our thing. We're gonna hit both of them with Blizzard? Let's go. Let's go. If I would respond in the world of Pokemon as a Pokemon, I'd probably be a Wooloo. I would pro I wanna I wanna put up the picture of Wooloo right now, but I'm recording this segment now. <laughs> uh do I just go for the no, you know, I'm gonna Darumaka it. We're just gonna go with Darumaka. True, but Quagsire and Pelipper are already evolved. Right, so like they don't they don't need the they don't need that boost. Favorite doubles gym leader? There's only two I can think of, which which is which is Ryan and Rhyme. 
And out of the two, I think I think I prefer Raihan's team. Because Rhyme's gym has like the, the random boosties that they give you. I don't really like that. I mean I get I get it it's like a like a cute mechanic. But I personally felt like it wasn't too necessary. Yeah, Tate and Liza, yes, yes. I, I, I vaguely remember them, but I haven't... I haven't gone to Tate and Liza's gym in so long. I do like that they use Solrock and Lunatone, though. You gotta go. Thank you for dropping by, Wendy. What I think about Poji, guys? Cool design. I really hope they do more intro trailers like that for, for new Pokemon they announce. I, I want to say it almost felt Monster Hunter-y. Because I, I, do, I do like the little introductions they do in Monster Hunter, but like more detailed. I, I, I enjoyed it. I personally enjoyed it. Watch out for the Stealth Rocks. Yeah. I like a little Darumaka, even though even though it's like the only unevolved Pokemon on the team, it's doing, it's doing quite a bit of damage. They did kind of do that with Zoroark, yeah. Um, and they vaguely tried to do it with the uh, I forget the name, it's like the little ghost doggy they added. But it wasn't really like an introduction trailer, it was like, oh no, there is Ghost Doggy out at night, watch out, and I'm like, okay. This one was like, here's the lore, here's how this Pokemon came into existence. I found, I found it interesting. Graveyard, is that the baby version? Yeah, Graveyard, yeah. No, 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 please, please do not spam. What are my thoughts on Dudan Spars? I think they could have done better. I think they could have done so much better. I mean, it's silly. I, I, I will, I'm, I'm okay with it. It just looks like Dunn Spars. <laughs> I, I think they just wanted to give Dunn Spars a buff. So they're like, yeah, we'll just make it look exactly the same. Just add a little extra circle in the middle. Okay, this, this right hand is doing big, big numbers on me. Partially because I'm just paying attention to chat, but. I mean, if it's a game you're never gonna play again, and you don't already have a pro controller, might might be a good trade-off. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna max quake. And uh, I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam just to get rid of the Sandaconda. Do I say chips or crispy? I, I say chips. That's way too long. The other thing sounds like a name of a Welsh town, which I'm not gonna even try to pronounce. Kinda sad that the Paradox Legendaries are just announced. Yeah, I really want the Legendaries, like the Paradox Legendaries to have like a specific in-game appearance and not just a random Raid Den event. Cause it doesn't make them feel that special, it just feels makes them feel like a random Pokemon that they added because they didn't get enough time to finish the game in time. So then Sparse is meant to be funny, yeah. It makes me think that if they ever gave us a Mega Flygon like we asked them to, it would have looked like Dud on Sparse. It would have just been Flygon with like an extra pair of wings or something. Okay, so Duraludon might be a problem for Togekiss. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm not, I'm not, there's too many words. There's too many words for me to say him. Hello OG Squishy. Okay, now now I'm a little concerned because we were supposed to knock out the Sandaconda. Uh
None of these are AoE. I've realized none of the max attacks are AoE. Um, mm, what do I do here? Oh, continues to deal the damage to opponents for four turns. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna destroy the round on. As long as he doesn't destroy us first, that would be quite unfortunate. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna destroy us first. And the the sand of Khan is the real problem. <laughs> Like, the Rolodon is just a distraction. And, and then you have Sand on the side. It's like, I am actually the real enemy. I wonder if... I wonder... If when they were designing Raihan, they were thinking about making him a ground-type trainer. Because there is... Like, Sand also has a G-Max form. But it's never used, like, as with an in-game trainer. So I wonder if Raihan was initially supposed to use that, and then they're like, "Nah, we should we should make him a dragon type trainer instead," because a ground type trainer wouldn't make sense to be Leon's rival. I really wonder now. And I beat both of them at the same turn. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, thank, thank goodness for that between turn damage. Giant skyscraper, small snake. Small snake, apparently. Sandakanda also falls under the dragon egg group, like Gyarados and Charizard, yeah. But I, I think Sandakanda fighting Charizard, like Charizard ultimately wins, like without a problem. <laughs> Because Leon's Charizard has a grass type move. It's like Solar Beam, but when it Dynamaxes, it's like just an instant grass type move, so like it would just obliterate Sandaconda. I say that as if the Rolodon doesn't just instantly get obliterated by Fire Blast. Because it's a Steel type. So I don't know. They probably thought Dragon type is cooler. Or something. We'll never know. This is just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Dang it. I, I hate how brainwashed we all are to, to say that. I hate how brainwashed we all are to say that. <laughs> He's neutral because dragons resist fire. Is he? But he has like zero special defense. Duraludon. I feel like even if it's is it neutral? Yeah, okay, it is neutral to fire. But like Duraldon has like zero special defense, and Leon's Charizard is a special attacker. Like fifty, yeah. It's a Splatoon theory. <laughs> It's gonna be one of those jokes that millennials make in 20 years. They'll be like, hi oh, guys, remember? Remember Game Theory guy? <laughs> Did they auto heal us? Alright, I should, I should evolve, um, I should... I, th I think it. I, th I think Darumaka deserves an evolution at this point. Part of me was like, did I forget to give it the level it's supposed to be? And then I realized now we just need to give it the Ice Stone. That's why it hasn't evolved. I think I was saving it for after Piers, and I just completely forgot what the plan was. Probably would have made Right Hand's gym a little bit easier, but. Is what it is. And that's all gonna change when the Rowlodon evolves, exactly. Absolutely. That thing's gonna just destroy everyone. There, Manitan wants to learn Icicle Crash. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so she does know. 
does no icicle crash. I'm gonna forget ice punch. Oh, we're like revamping the whole move set on this thing. It's, it's just gonna completely different move set. Forget the ice punch stuff. Okay, so we need earthquake, stone edge, and Zen headbutt. There's Stone Edge. Hello, Brick. I'm good. Am I Wulu again? No. I'm, I'm human form for now. Bum, bum. Speaking of Splatoon, they just dropped a new song? Ooh, I need to go listen to it. Then again, I'll hear it like 50 times when I play the game. Zen Headbutt for Dermanitan, and then Earthquake. Ooh, he gets rid of Belly Drum. Bum, bum, bum. If G-Max Duraludon moved forward to Scarlet Violet, will it evolve? See, this, this is why they just got rid of... They're like, no, no more Dynamaxes. No more G-Maxes, it's gone. It's it's an old mechanic now, it's dead. No more. No more of this. <laughs> you thought I was a <laughs> scraggy with sunglasses? Oh no. Maybe. Shh, it's okay. How's it no Zen headbutt? It's it's a very Zen Pokemon, you know? He's I think it's just a reference to his normal form. Is there anything else I need to teach someone? So Lazo was supposed to know Toxic. Um, I think everyone else is good on moves. Why haven't I done an Oleana run? Because I am only one guy and I only have so much time to do the things. I just have not gotten to it yet. It, it will happen at some point. Just not yet. When will the VTuber come back on in a moment? I need to need to do a move move remembrance real quick and then and then we'll go back to VTuber mode. And then Gallade needs Psycho Cut, which it should have oh it learned it. Oh this is this is the Gallade moveset? This is the most disappointing looking Gallade moveset I've seen. The fact that it doesn't know uh, Night Slash hurts my soul. Hey, did I, did I write this wrong? It says Toxic at level 29. I think I got this wrong. I think it's probably 49. Alright, I'm back, back to this. Hold on. Okay, well, I, we're good on moves as the only thing I need to remember is to teach the lazo toxic. Why am I recording this? Uh, just to show that, you know, we're changing movesets and all that stuff. And then we do have the whole train thing, and then it's the ice route, and then it's Winden. And then you think we get to Winden, and we're almost done, but like, we get to Winden, and it's like, we have like six more hours of game. <laughs> Once we arrive at Winden. Because you have Marnie Hop Bead, you have the whole chase scene and then Oleana. And then you have Nessa B and Raihan again. And then you have Rose. <laughs> and they they were just like, here's more. Want more? Yeah, we got more. 
I think, am I allowed to listen to the Splatoon song on stream? I should be. Here, let's 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 give it a listen while this this cutscene happens. Um, it's called Big Betrayal by Deep Cut. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the switch entirely and then let's let's what what is this song? I'll give you guys some context of what's going on. <laughs> it's this. But there seems to be lyrics on it as well. They gave it lyrics? Why is there lyrics? I just feel weird. This is this is the official account, right? This is the first Splatoon song to have official lyrics on it. Is this in a... He gave us English before this, now this is a different language? I mean, I, I like it. It's a bop. I, 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 need, I need to see what this is. Objection. Here's your cool. All right, all right, we're, we're going, we're going back to Pokemon. It's, it's a bump. I like it. Man, to th to think Splatoon would have a lyric song. All right, now now we gotta get through Ice Route. There's like five or six trainers we gotta fight here. Keep talking to avoid a strike. Now, usually it's a strike if you just like pure upload it with like nothing at all. It's just like here's the music. This is the music. There's no comment, nothing. I'm. We talk about. It. Well, it's hard. Yeah, it's gonna be during the Splatfest, so that'll be fun. What team are you guys choosing for Splatfest if you're playing it? Burn hotter than fire. Nice. They're mad at Big Man for doing a song without <laughs> Big Man, how could you cheat on us? Big Man's like, no. Oh. Ay ay ay. Cause that's all Big Man says. What are you what would you miss? Uh we we listen to the new Splatoon song. We're just splat fast. Uh we're currently on Route 10 on our way to Winden. And poor Blissey is not is not gonna get a lot of experience here. Well, it depends on the song. That that is very true. It depends on the song. Usually, video game music tends to be safe because the game companies know that a lot of the times when you are playing their music, it's in the context of the game itself or for the video like you're making a pokemon game video you're gonna have music from the pokemon game in the background and they don't strike that stuff because they're like yeah you're making stuff on our content it promotes our content it's like a mutual agreement uh now now if i started humming like an actual song that you'd hear on the radio that's that would be problematic and that would be problematic because those have extremely different uh i guess it's the same laws but they're like saudi music company will, will not play around they will strike and like this is we own this this is our song thought of playing sun ultra sun you cannot do the primarina z move on stream what do you what what do you mean I cannot do the Primarina Z move? I'm con I'm concerned. 
We can skip this guy. I don't know if I'll make it in time. I made it in time. And then I don't... Yeah, you can skip this guy too. And then here you do have to fight either the mailman or the flight guy. But I'm going to fight the fight guy. The flight guy. You've learned the hard way about that? Oh my gosh. Depends on who owns the rights of the song. Exactly. You just saw a video and the title says one hit obliterator. Oh no. Am I playing as someone? Yes. The, the lady in the thumbnail. Uh, she's like a secret boss in this game. Uh, but it's like a secret boss in the DLC. So a lot of people probably didn't fight her because you have to spend like a million watts to unlock the battle with her. Which is a lot of watts. Speaking of, we should probably do that. Like that that's after after becoming champion, I'll go do that. Because I will need the footage of of spending all the wattage and then unlocking the honey battle. Poor Glade. He ain't gonna be in Pokemon Sword and Shield too. That is very interesting that Pokemon has copyrighted that specific move. That is very interesting. Do I have a favorite trainer type? Mm, I don't know if it's specifically a trainer type. I really like the interview duo that they put in every game. So I was very disappointed when Scarlet and Violet did not have an interview duo. Or double battles at, at all. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Scarlet and Violet has no double battles. It's just Rhymes Gym. And that's it. I guess you kind of get multi-battles, like, going down to Area Zero. But, like, there's no normal double, like, there's just no double battles at all in the game. Rhyme's Gym is the only one that has, like, the three trainers and Rhyme, and that's it. What would I name the, the, the third version of Sword and Shield? Uh, like, Trebuchet, probably, which is why, it, which is why we're not getting a third version. All right, time for the toga kiss sweep. The SVDLC will have double battles. I I hope so. I mean, I'm personally not like a huge fan of double battles, but considering that's like their main format for competitive, I'm surprised they didn't even include like optional ones. Because they do have optional double battles in this game. Scarlet Violet is way too short. Y yes and no. They, they did make it a bit longer because of, you know, I'm going to go talk to the camping guy real quick. Oh gosh, they almost got jumped by a bear. Um, so we can, we can fast travel to here in case I do lose a battle, which might happen. Because I have not healed. Yeah, it's open world, the post game, and then terra farming. But like, if you don't like terra farming... There's not much else to do. It's like you can shiny hunt or you can terraform. And that's it. Which I mean not to say that these. Like Scarlet and Violet doesn't have that much of a post game either. If you think about it. It is very interesting to consider. Uh, what would make a good post game. For Pokemon. Like, what would keep people playing a Pokemon game once they finish the main story? Because usually it's just build a competitive team and then play, play competitive once you're done with the story. Or Shiny Hunt. I mean, do I play Pokemon Unite? Um, I tried it. It's not for me. It's just the, the game style is not, not something I'm particularly interested in. I'm surprised they have a random ride on in this part of the game. Yeah, you just wanted a shiny content. I really like Dynamax Adventure. I did. That was like an enjoyable 
an enjoyable feature. I, I really hope they have something similar in, in the Scarlet Violet DLC. Because it's like an extra multiplayer thing you can do. It's not battles. Maybe they should actually have a story for Ares. You, you know, I I think that would make too much sense for it. That, that would make too much sense. I th I <laughs> We're getting it, but in the DLC. Yeah, the... At the end of the DLC trailers, they're like, Oh yeah, you'll finally find out the secret of Area Zero. Finally. At the end of the game. You, you will find... Fi after, after you have paid us $95, you will get to know what happens in Area Zero. <laughs> like, oh no. Is game audio supposed to be off? Nope, I turned it off uh, so we could lose, listen to this platoon battle music and I forgot to turn it back on again. I don't understand what the what the word is after the G-Max you're trying to ask about. Um, You know, we're gonna go with the move that doesn't miss. I have to make my own convergent line. Who would I make it on? Ah. You know, I don't know. Nothing comes to mind specifically. Oh, we, we still have like more Pokemon. So much money for probably an okay story. You know what? That's okay for it because I'm, I'm fixing it. I, I will show you guys in a moment what what, I, what I've been cooking. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys what I've been cooking. It it we 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 will I will I, we will fix it. I say we, but it, it's me. I will fix it. <laughs> we will fix it. <laughs> we. <laughs> I don't know why I find that meme so funny. It just feels like the, like the group project situation. <laughs> it's like one guy does all the work and everyone else is like, yes, we did all the work. We... We did it. Alright, you, you, got, you got to tell me what BB stands for. Because <laughs> my brain doesn't... My brain is not registering it at the moment. Did y'all do any of the Fontaine quests yet? Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna have a Genshin video out later today. Um, based on design wise, I'd I'd probably say Lacey, but I'll see character wise once they. I'm 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 very curious what they do with the chef character. Like, is he just gonna be a plain chef guy? Because they've done a lot of chefs in Scarlet and Violet. So I am very curious to see. What his story is. Where does he fit with everyone? It's my favorite fighting type. No. <laughs> That's not an answer. Gallade. Gallade's my favorite fighting type. Um. <laughs> no, he says no. All right, I'm gonna lose to the interview crew here, but I'm gonna try to fight them anyways. Usually, all I do is I just I just put a Pokemon in the box. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a Pokemon in the you know I'm we're just gonna. I don't want to embarrass myself on stream. It's an optional fight. It, li listen, it's 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 option. Also, I have to switch to recording mode now because we're going into wind. I always like to get the footage of going into wind. And like, see how they're like, oh, we'll battle you. And you can talk to them. You should bring at least two Pokemon, since I'm gathering information. You need at least two Pokemon to take me on. Oh no, what a shame. We do not have two Pokemon. So we can just proceed to keep going. And they don't have to bat. And now, now we can just open up our box. <laughs> Get our second Pokemon. And we've skipped the fight. It's optional. It's, it's optional. The game gives you the option to fight them or not to fight them. 
bum, 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 bum. How's the auto video coming along? That's what that's what I'll show you guys in a moment. Me being devious. Listen, it saves time. It, it's like a it's like a five to ten minute fight. If I if I lose, it it's an even longer fight. So like, yeah. Oh, come to Wendon. Where we have London Tower. I mean, Big Ben. And the London Eye. And the soccer stadium. Which soccer stadium? Doesn't matter. This is Pokemon. We're. Details not important. Have I tried the new event on Genshin? Yeah, it feels very lackluster. They put a lot of talking in there. And then and then gameplay wise it's <laughs> There's only three three little Bennett punching games and that's it. That's all they give you. For the whole event. I thought there was gonna be more. Anyways, we're here in Winden. I always forget to heal, because this is the one time the game doesn't heal you. They've always like auto healed. But you get the wind and they're just like, what? what's auto-healing? Like, look at this. Everyone's still dead. I have heard of only up. I'm not gonna play only up. It's not my kind of game. Is this Scarlet Violet with trainers not auto-challenging? Right? Right? Okay. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the stop. Cause now 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 there's just a a, lo, a a little bit of conversations. But I'm gonna show you guys what, what I've been what I've been cooking. Hold on. So I don't know video. It is is in progress. Um so like <laughs> eh. See I don't know I have the first three minutes done. I'm not gonna show you everything in it, but I have the first three minutes done. Uh, and then these these green things are the conversations. And you know, I thought I thought I, I learned my lesson and I would only make 20 minute videos because this is the 20 minute mark. But it's gonna be a 40 minute video. <laughs> and I only have three minutes done. So it's gonna take a while. Um my plan was to have this done by the end of the month, but I don't think it's happening <laughs> by the end of the month. It's just, it's just a, you know, there's a lot of editing to do. I'm gonna try to get the, the light green stuff done over the weekend. But I'll probably only get like, the small chunks done and then I'll still have this to deal with on Monday. It's, it's a lot of editing. And then like, you open up the conversations. Just to show you guys what it looks. Uh, so it's like you have the Iona lines, and you have my lines. And then I haven't done anything. Like th this is this is where I'm supposed to put all the sprites and the background and the t I have not done any of that. <laughs> it takes a while, but we'll, I'll figure it out. Anyways, that that's enough of the Iono sneak peek. This is why they take so long to make too. Like, it's, it's just a lot of work that goes into it. So it's a lot of buildings that I gotta build because they are, when you edit it just looks like you're making a, a skyline yeah that, that yeah that's the I should be editing I should be editing I should I should but uh, uh, you know I've committed to doing these morning streams a little bit. All oh, right, right. You don't talk to Hawk. You talk to the reception desk guy. Hi, reception desk guy. Bum, 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 bum. You admit that's more progress than the video you've been working on S since Michael. <laughs> I've completed 7.5% of the vid, I guess. That's that is a nice way to look at it. Questions on the non-required rival battles in Scarlet and What is the what is our oh, opinion? Uh, they're not gonna be in the run. Wait, I have to fight you myself? 
I always have to fight myself. Wait, how I feel about you? You gonna, gonna have to repeat the question, George, because I I totally missed it. Um. All right, time to fart. <laughs> time to fight, Marnie. Fight, Marnie. <laughs> um, I'm probably not gonna include the Marnie fight in there. So I'm just gonna record on this screen. I'm not. I'm not gonna get the big fancy screen for the Marnie fight. I don't expect her to do much. How do I feel about the Iono video so far? I think it's, it's good. It's, it should be on par with the B video. In terms of uh, lore. Um, I like it. I, I always like, when I'm working on these, I'm always like, man, I'm doing too much. <laughs> no, no, him, no. <laughs> Goodbye, Ferret. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. But, um, hello, Blazing Cinderace. You you love the random commit. I know, they're great, aren't they? Actually, sorry, uh, communication error has occurred. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. It's gonna be a Yono streaming Titan Pokemon and Starmobile battles for views. See. It's only going to be becoming gym leader. Team Star and Titans are not required for becoming champion. So I thought I thought it's going to be under 20 minutes because it's just the gyms. Cuz I just talked about the gyms. But I was wrong. It's 40 minutes long cuz I added lore and character development. Um, she put a taunt on me, now I'm gonna have to waste thunder. Bum, bum, bum. Torment ruins sword dance, ah. She, and she did, she did use her one time heal already. Oh, Snarl's gonna be a problem because we're a special attacker. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, Jaco. I Jago. I I actually follow them on on Instagram. They've been doing like Genshin charms recently. They, they look. They were. I've, I've been very tempted to get some because they look really cute. I like their art style. Do I like McDonald's? I think it's all right. I think McDonald's is great outside of the U.S. And then when you're in the U.S., McDonald's is just mid. It's just, it's just all right. How many heals do I get in every battle? Just one. I don't think we've used any heals during this run, though. I don't remember if we have. We might have, like early on. Kind of the thing, but I, I can't remember using any. Usually I allow for it just because sometimes the move sets aren't the best. So like I know people will comment, oh yeah, you could just you know sword dance sweep, and it's like yeah, but like th this trainer doesn't doesn't do sword dance under team or this very smart thing they should do. You have to be in the mood for McDonald's. I, th I think McDonald's is a nice like once a month thing for me, especially with how pricey it's gotten. It, like it used to be cheap, so it was like, oh yeah, it's not, yeah, nice. You can get this often, but it's like, man, prices went up. And I'm, I'm like, all right, this is gonna be a fancy meal, I guess. Canadian McDonald's is worse than the American one. Oh no. Oh no. I, I, that, that, that sounds like not a good time. I think if I ever go to Canada, I'd rather try Tim Hortons. Because I hear that's a, that's a big thing over there.
reason you don't eat out much. Yeah, like eating out used to be price efficient. Like from what I understand, and even like Squidman mentioned this, like in, in Korea and in Japan, people eat out a lot because it's just cheaper and more efficient to just eat out than to buy the stuff and try to cook it yourself in your tiny little kitchen. But like... In the, in the West especially, and the US specifically, it's become cheaper to just eat at home. I mean, like, you can go to Olive Garden and spend $18 on spaghetti and tomato sauce. Probably 12 bucks and not 18 but you know, it's like, but then you got a tip, and then you gotta get a drink, and it becomes like $18 for spaghetti. For spaghetti! No offense to the Italians here, but like... I can get spaghetti and sauce for like 4 bucks, 5 bucks at the store. Why would I pay Olive Garden 20? <laughs> Alright, Olangar already? Ah, uh, Dazzling Gleam, right? I forget what's strong against him. This is the biggest stream you comment was Reddit? No. Well, hello. You'd recommend Tim Hortons? Yeah, I've been. I always like to try the local places. In Romania, you, you can get ice cream, but in the US, you cannot get ice cream. I, I think that's a myth. Or at least the McDonald's I go to, their machine is usually working. So I haven't had that issue. I haven't, I haven't had the our ice cream machine doesn't work issue. Personally. Bum, 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 bum. Egyptian McDonald's is serviceable enough. <laughs> Interesting. I, I don't think I'll be making my way towards Egypt anytime soon, but good to know. Uh, what do I do here? I'm just gonna Darmanitan. If I'm ever in Europe, KFC is the best fast food option. McDonald's is good and Burger King is really bad. I don't know. Again, if, if I'm in Europe, I'd, I'd rather try the, the, the local places than the fast foods. Um, well, your best experience for McDonald's was in Pakistan. Interesting. Hello, Nintendo fan. Interesting. Now I want to travel. But that's not going to happen because I'm, I'm, I'm so broke. There's no, no travel in my future. Alright, we have we have defeated Marnie using a whole total of half a brain cell. You know, I think Burger King in the US is pretty alright. I could taste I like the little like charcoal y taste that their burgers have. And I think they're onion rings, I mean, but it's onion rings, like, you can't really mess up onion rings. I get onion rings at Burger King. The thing I don't like about Burger King in the US is that they will, they have horrible customer service. Like, in the ads, they're like, have it your way, and then you show up to Burger King, they, like, yell at you for, like, the tiniest thing, and I'm like, dude, she, like, it's a Burger King! <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you being so rude? Uh, hi Hornet, we're, we're, yeah. <laughs> like, the food is, the food is alright, but like, the service is, all the Burger Kings I've gone to have had a horrible service. Absolute horrible service. It's like, usually in, in the US at least, like, fast food places don't give you sass. Like, you go to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A to like, hi, my pleasure. I'm here to get your order and make sure you have a good day. And and then you go to Burger King and they're like, the F you want, bro. And you're like, what? Oh, a burger. And they're like, no, no burger. You get fried. I'm like, hold on. What is going on? <laughs> That's been, that has been my experience with Burger King. <laughs> Which is, which is the closest you'll hear me to swearing on stream as well. But... <laughs> Poor double. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, no, I like... Half the, half the times I've, I've gone Burger King. Like, the employees have been extremely rude. 
yelled at me over like nothing. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? One of the Burger Kings closed down because the the store owner was like dealing drugs or something. <laughs> Burger King, you gotta get your act together. Number thirteen, the last thing you want in your Burger King. <laughs> you know what? <I, laughs> no, I mean their boss is just as rude. You got a question? Go ahead. Let it be known from your experience, America has a sense of service that is not existent compared to Asia. Like, in a good or bad way, Michael? Like, is Asia American? I mean, I hate American service. They didn't add salt to the fries, but oh no. That's how they make the salt, it's just all the employees are salty. You can just tell where you're from, there's no Karens in the drive through Karens are the employees, for real. I mean, I, I know it's I know it's a rough job, but I don't I don't want to sound like you know I'm d dissing the workers, but like I've been to so many places where people you know they they work hard, <laughs> but like they don't give you sass for it. Like I'm sorry, I just want food. Here's five dollars. <laughs> They're like we don't have change. Give us exact. I'm like, <laughs> sir, please. Uh, Pinkerton. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam for the stab. Yeah, there's a 15% chance they mess up your order. Dracula and Transylvania are from Romania. From what I hear, yeah. Number 15. Oh, no. Um. I'm confused. Asia is a thousand percent better than America. People here mostly actually have an understanding of hospitality. Well, yeah, because there's like an actual like hospitality degree, and like it's it's the same in in Bulgaria. Like you go to a restaurant, and you go to a three star hotel in Europe. It's well, I don't know about Europe in general, because I haven't really been to hotels in Europe in general. But like my experience from Bulgaria is like a three star hotel in Bulgaria is like a four star in the US. And it's like a quarter of the price per night. Don't tell me you just let them yell at you though. But I, I you know, I don't I don't I, I don't know how to respond. <laughs> I just stopped going after several well, one time my brother was trying to get me this is a brother story. He was trying to get Burger King. He drives up to the drive-thru, they don't say anything, it's just nothing. Usually you drive to the drive-thru and they're like, what would you want for your order? And then he doesn't say anything, like they just didn't say anything. So he waited for like 2 or 3 minutes. I was like, screw this, I'm just gonna pull up to the window. He pulls up to the window and they yell at him for not placing an order on the drive-thru thing. <laughs> and then he's like, sorry, and then he drove away. And I'm like, yeah, I would have done the same. Cause they probably would have spat in your food. That's illegal, but <laughs> that's the, that's the that's the joke. It's the joke. That's the joke that they do that. I really hope they don't actually do that. So confusion is is gonna be problematic for Toby Kiss. Arby's parent company bought Subway franchise. Is that why Subway now has like the we got fresh meats here or something like that. Uh, I hope you're having a good stream. I am. Thank you. Let me let me make sure I can pronounce your name correctly. Asashi. And and you know the the worst part about all this, Michael, and and everyone else listening is, in the U.S., you're expected to tip too. So like you pay for these people's like time that they they served you. Even if it's a drive-through, they will give you like a thing that asks for a tip. Maybe not Burger King, but like other restaurants who have a they'll, they'll ask for a tip, and I'm like, bro, you you gave me attitude. You were mean. I don't even want to be here anymore, and now you're asking me for like twenty percent on top of what I already paid. Is it's just? It, don't get me wrong, I do tip. And like even in Europe, I will tip. I'll be like, 
here I'll round up you know if uh, if the orders $28 I'll just give them 30 and then they keep the tip yeah it's included in the check and then in the US they're usually half the time I'll say I'll say 20% of the time 20% of the time they're rude to you and then they're even they're even more rude and upset that then you don't tip them 20% and it's like well I, I it's it's a losing situation shove a shove a drink in my face okay thank you for the reminder in Europe, you only tip in restaurants if you want to. Yeah, exactly. It's usually just, you just round up. You're like, I don't want to carry the extra coins. I'll just round it up. It's okay. In the US, you round up and they're like, oh, this was only 5%. You think I'm a terrible service person? I'm like, no. No, not, not, nothing against you, sir, madam. Or sometimes I've had a really bad experience where the waiter or waitress this this was back when i i, I used to be dating i i have just kind of stopped for a while um their mana tank can only use stone edge okay got it um they would like hit on the girl i was like they, 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 they would make a move they would like try to riz up the person i was there with and i'm like sir what you, you expect a tip now no no you get nothing <laughs> You trying to steal my girl? <laughs> like what the heck? Or sometimes it was the other way around, but I'm I'm very oblivious to that stuff, so I didn't even notice. But then the person I was with would be very upset. Oh my God, calm, calm down, it's all right. <laughs> but it is this is 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 fun. It, it's a fun time. You just gotta laugh at it because if you take it seriously, it, it sucks. Your favorite connects champion was Clara, yeah. 20% tax, 15% tipping, your sister who's now in New York understood that on us. Yeah, exactly. But it's for helping children. Yeah. So I think um, Panda Express does this. They don't ask for tip. They'll be like, would you like to round up your order? And then the amount you round up will donate to, I think it's like Children's Healthcare? St. Jude's? Something like that? It's like, oh, cool. Sure, I'll round up. That's fine. That's fine. That is totally fine. Tipping culture isn't too big of a deal. When you order some food, you give like 5 to 10 just as a thank you. Yeah, not because you're forced, but as a thank you. Absolutely. That's like expected. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. Lazzle. 20% tip for 20% of my anger. You haven't seen anything. <laughs> for real. For real. For real, though. Uh, they have 0% chance of... You, you know, I'd rather not talk about how that relationship ended, but... <laughs> Anyways. Here's an Uno Reverse card. You try to riz up the employee. No! <laughs> No, that is that is not a good thing to do when you're on a date. <laughs> you do not try to riz up <laughs> the service work. You're not trying to secure another date with another person. Do not know. <laughs> that's just that's just rude. You might be going to NYC. Hey. I mean, now if if you go as a tourist, I don't think places are bad. Like, in, in general, if you go somewhere as a tourist, most places are pretty okay. If you go to a place to live, that's when you're... That's when you're... I'm hearing, I'm hearing noise, I'm concerned. It's my name. Isn't that a red flag? What what's a red flag? Like if you're trying to riz up the the service person? Yes, I I think that's a red flag. Yeah. Oh dang! I'm I'm I don't know what you I I you know I lost the context of what you guys are talking about. And 
now we're on to the Oleana arc. Only four more arcs to go before we get the fight, Leon. Water is. Oh, the waiter is. Yeah. Who's my favorite gym leader in Scarlet Violet? Uh, for now, I'm gonna say Iono. Like, I like I like Larry. Larry's chill, but you know, Larry's a mood. He's not my favorite mood. He's just a mood. <laughs> Red flag is hitting on the waiter, even if you're single, because their whole job is to be not. Yeah, that is that is also true. Two days ago here in Rio, and they're just here for an event. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's not pleasant. That's, that's not a pleasant experience to lose your phone or for someone to, to take it. If it isn't a date, you can... No, no, no. <laughs> no. Do not, do not risk the employee. <laughs> they have to be there. They can't just leave. <laughs> Don't. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> what if they're an introvert? They don't want you to talk to them. So the, the best part about this is the Blissey knows Fire Blast. So we can just like blast through everything. Will I be playing up everyone's hatred for Gita? Mm, I wouldn't say playing up. I might include it here and there like if Gita ever gets brought up but I uh, wouldn't specifically go out of the way to bash on her. I mean, she she just she just doing her best, I think. I don't know. They didn't really give us any Gita lore. She's just top champion. That's all we know. Like she's she's friends with uh, with Clive. Like we don't really know much about Gita, which is why people think she's evil. Cause like everyone just seems to dislike her. But like, why 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 do they dislike her? Wait, I, I really hope they are making it as a joke and not and not as something that is acceptable. Will this be the last honey stream? No, no. Um, I'm probably gonna fight like two more trainers and then call it a day. Uh, cause I I'm I'm so tempted to go make a coffee. I'm so tempted. I want to snack more. Yeah, just because they designed her hair like Glamour, I'm like, I don't know if that makes her evil. I mean, it could. I'm not saying she's not evil. I'm just saying, why is everyone's like headcanon The Gita's evil? Like, <laughs> poor lady. She's just trying to have a good time. I like how the guy you're supposed to find just doesn't spawn in. You guys notice this? Like, if you're right here, like looking around for the guys, he doesn't spawn in, he's just not there. There's nothing in the corner. You like have to go out of your way this direction to, for him to spawn in. I don't know, I, 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 think, I think you guys will appreciate Gita's power a bit more after the Yono video. Will I make more of these streams on other Canucks Become Champion videos? Oh, this one's more of a casual one, so like, I'm not trying to rush this one out, because the other ones I'm trying to get, not necessarily rush them out, but like, get them out in a timely manner. This is like, I, I think for the honey episode, it's going to be like the transition episode between, it's gonna explain a bit of, a bit of the lore that you will see in season two, that's not really explained in season two. And uh, th that's all I'll say. I, I think that's where this will fit in instead of the Forgotten Memory. Because that, that's going to be the only other one. The spoilers is the only other trainer left. Okay, there's, there's literally not that many options. It's going to be only other. She's the Forgotten Memory. But what's my time zone? EST. Uh, so I will see. I might do, I might do Legend Arceus. 
Uh, like the area that an Adam on? I might, I might stream that. Um, but once the honey run is done, I'll probably stream Splatoon a couple of times, like once or twice. And then we'll see from there. Hello, Gronky. Think people think Gita is evil because of her dark and slick design style. Yeah, there was a there was a very good video about Gita's design. Um, it was like she's very much based on like an explorer kind of person. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Gita. It was it was a, it was a great video. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, there you go. Speculate. Um. I will. I'll put it in the description of the video so you guys can see it. Let's, let's say the Gita design video. That way, I don't want to distract you guys from stream too much, but put put this in your watch later. It's a, it's a great listen. On, on the design, like Gita's character design. They go very in-depth on it. I really liked how they approached it. Like they talked about the whole like bolo tie. It's not like a bolo tie, but it was a, a very in-depth talk about the design of Gita. And why she's not necessarily an evil person, just maybe design concepts we don't necessarily understand. You say it's kind of dog. Is that is that a good thing or a bad thing? Usually, I assume dogs are good, but it really depends on if there's supposed to be a word after dog that you're just not putting in. Oh, you need to catch Pokemon to progress. Yeah, but that would be the time when I'm not re when I'm in this mode, where I can talk to chat and it's not just recording the one battle that's going on. Um, bum, bum. <laughs> yeah, I was just, you know, dog water or the other one. Yeah, either or. <laughs> Explains the compass gloves. Exactly. That I hear about Pochi guys. Yeah, I really like the little announcement video they made. Have I drank my... Yes, I have drank my water. I'm gonna have to stop streaming soon because I drank too much water. <laughs> oh, poor Blissey. Bum, bum, bum. Did you have cashew today? Yes. Yes, I, I did have cashew today. I feel I feel sorry for the people who are allergic to cashews because I think they're delicious. I like a nice snack. Another thing is her pose. Lu Gita's looking directly at the viewer in her art, usually to unnerve the viewers. Yeah. But like in the game, she doesn't. Alright, when, when does Salazzo learn Toxic? I, I know it's supposed to know it. I... I we're like level 52 now. Level 58. 58. This is a TM move. Why is it level 58? Sometimes I question their design choices, but... Is what it is. My favorite Genshin character? Uh, you know, I'm gonna say Kokomi. She just heals, and, and she has that, that little notebook of, of plus, plus and minus energy, depending on what's going on. I like... I also like not being dead in the game. That's also, that's also a good feeling. Also, I will I will be posting a Genshin video later today. Hope you guys check it out. Might not be forever. It's like a little review video of the update. 
I don't I don't think you're supposed to eat the fruit. I, I feel like I remember the fruit is like poisonous. I could be wrong. Just a nut. Hi Anubis. Which new Splatoon weapon am I looking forward to the most? Uh the the bucket. Because it's a one-shot bucket, right? Like we've never had a one-shot bucket up until now. I assume it's gonna be very slow, but I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of people think about Gita because of how harsh some of the gym leaders say she is to them. Yeah. Absolutely. Audio is very important for a video. What if the video doesn't have any audio? Then it's a bad video. <laughs> and it's just moving pictures. <laughs> Uh, now some some video can be good without audio. You can use the lack of audio for effect So like if you want to build tension you might want to just leave gaps But there's this like but if there's just no audio at all like I Mean if you want to see the difference and between having audio and having no audio just mute the stream for a little bit and ask yourself Would I watch this? <laughs> If it's muted, usually the answer is no. Most people will say no. Some people will enjoy it, but most people will just not. The whole point of the format. Yeah, mostly shorter videos. Or like that's why you usually see even like shorts. They'll just have like that generic, not not Kevin McLeod music, because it's not Kevin McLeod, but it sounds like Kevin McLeod music. They'll just have like a generic jingle in the background. Because if they didn't have that jingle, people just wouldn't watch it. I really do hope we hear more about Geet in the DLC as well. I agree. Just got an ad. Oh no. Did the ad have background music? Who's becoming champions? The, the lady in the thumbnail. He's the secret boss in the Isle of Armor DLC. You're not learning thrash. Alright, I think that's... That's it for the team. Right? I, I think that's, that's it for these guys. And then we go to the Rose Tower. The Lazo learns Toxic at level 65. Oh no. Oh no. It's my favorite Pokemon video I made? Probably be. I like How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, it was alright. I'm surprised people still know about it. It was a while ago. What would my team be? I don't know. Um, I'd probably have like Aerodactyl. I like Aerodactyl. And I don't know what else. I don't know. In my original team that I used back in Diamond and Pearl, Aerodactyl was the first Pokemon I built. Because it looked cool. And then I built one again in um, X and Y because it got a Mega. I thought that was pretty cool. I think this this is just gonna take us to Rose Tower, right? It's just the cutscene, and then we get to Rose Tower, and then we're like, "All right, we've distracted them. Now it's time for you to climb Rose Tower and do some multi battles along with Hop, and then you fight Oleana. Three battles, and then Oleana, and then it's four trainer battles, and then Rose, and then Leon." So we have four more sections to do. But I think this is gonna be it for this section. Cause I, I'm, I'm, you know, I should have eaten an actual breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll call it a stream here. Uh, I will, I will continue next Friday, probably around the same time. I'd say 8:30 to about 
10.15 EST. I don't know what time it is for you guys. No time zones, but... And since I don't really see anyone that's live at the moment for me to raid, um, I will send you guys to... I'll send you guys to the Gita video. It's not, it's not a video of mine, but... Here. Go, go, go check it out. I think I like, I like what they did. I think you guys will enjoy it if you have not seen it yet. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you, if you like the video, leave them a positive comment. Be like, I'd, I'd like to see more of this. Thank you for the awesome analysis. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out guys. Hope you have a good time zone. Whether well, it's morning, evening, middle of the day. Hopefully it's not middle of the night. Could be. I don't know where in the world you are. But, you know. And uh, have yourselves a wonderful time zone. Okay, bye.